Congresswoman Neil Hannah Mark continues to be a walking indictment of America's immigration priorities. In a tweet last night, she lamented that America isn't doing enough to help illegal immigrants get free abortions. For real. That's the problem that needs solving. Who's going to pay for illegal aliens' abortions? We need to. Taxpayers. Well, she has many things to say about that, though. Armar has almost nothing to say about her own past. She refuses to answer questions about it, questions that involve serious questions. Tax fraud, perjury, possibly even a marriage to her brother. Steve Drazkowski is a Republican state representative in Minnesota. Earlier today, he formally requested that a House Ethics Committee launch a full investigation into Congressman Omar's past. Representative Draskowski joins us tonight. Representative Draskowski, thanks Tucker. very much for coming on. So what don't we know? What questions does the congresswoman still refuse to answer? Well, Tucker, she refuses to answer everything from who her siblings are to details about her immigration documents that she has shown t briefly to one reporter on her phone. Uh, anything that you ask her about or that, that people ask her about, uh, she simply just ignores or uh, may call you a racist. Well, she'll definitely call you a racist. I mean, she's made a career of that. In fact, I would say that that's been the engine uh, of her political career, calling other people racist. But there are this is not a crackpot theory it's not birtherism there are serious questions about whether or not she committed immigration fraud and then committed perjury in lying about it why wouldn't law enforcement agencies be looking into that absolutely and that's what we want them to do as a matter of fact tucker today we held a press conference in order to ask the u.s house ethics committee to investigate this and get to the bottom of it uh, we also launched a website a citizen petition at uh, omartruth.com uh, to engage citizens to hold congress accountable so that they can investigate and end the cover-ups that were seen by representative omar what i mean let me ask you this. If she were not a famous member of Congress, how hard would it be to get law enforcement to investigate these questions, given the amount of evidence that she committed perjury and fraud? The evidence is, is in, in huge piles now. It's not being refuted by the left or by the mainstream media. Their fact checkers have not come out and said this stuff isn't accurate. It hasn't happened because it is. The information that David Steinberg and others have put together is very compelling. There are public documents that are filed that shows that she committed perjury eight times, uh, not to mention the tax fraud stuff that we found. Um, we're, uh, we're working hard to bring this to light. I appreciate your help, uh, Mr. Steinberg. And we did our, sh our bit today to uh, bring forward this to the House Ethics Committee because we think they need to act. We encourage citizens to get behind it. There's a citizen petition at omartruth.com. She's a liar. I mean, she's clearly lying. She said she married in, quote, her faith tradition, but the record shows she was married by a Christian minister. And she's a Muslim. So, I mean, there's yeah. deceit here. And it's not just a question of ethics. It's a question of laws. I mean, she is an immigrant to this country. She clearly violated her immigration law and clearly lied about it. Tucker, she does Remarkable. not have respect for our laws, and, and it's, it's actually great disdain for our laws, and that's what we're seeing. Um, uh, the end justifies a mean for Representative Omar. That's what we've seen over again with all the campaign finance stuff. That's what we've seen with the cover-up she's done around her sham marriage, and each time yeah. she has to cover it up in order to get where she wants to go. That's exactly right, and the left certainly abets the cover-up, as always. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. Meanwhile, here's a case of another lawmaker, Erica Thomas. She's tripling down tonight on her fake hate crime. She now says insulting her should be a criminal offense. It should be a crime to insult her. And she's not joking. Remarkable story. Straight ahead.